when you have a spiritual gift. The truth is that I believe each and every one of you has a spiritual gift. I don't believe that there's anyone in the, on the planet that is not gifted in some way. Perhaps you discovered this when you were a child, perhaps when you were a teenager or older as an adult. Perhaps you haven't even discovered it yet that you do have a gift, something that is truly unique to you. The truth is that each and every one of you is unique. And by discovering the spiritual gift that you have, you are able to move forward into discovering all that you are, your true power, your true energy. And the more you move into this, the more you move into happiness, the more you move into clarity, empowerment, love, and the more you're able to truly appreciate and know who you truly are. And the more you know who you are, the more you love all that you are. Which leads me to introducing myself. My name is Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. Thank you for being here. And when I say here, I don't just mean watching my channel, watching this video, but I mean being here on the planet with all of us. You being here changes everything. Your vibration, your frequency, you moving into all that you are, embracing your spiritual gifts, embracing all that you have to be and offer, changes everything. And it doesn't come through you trying to change everything. It just naturally happens. You naturally move into that flow. The thing is that the more you realize your energy, the more consciously aware you become of it. And you see that, hey, I know things before they happen, or I can heal people. I can help people understand things that perhaps they didn't understand. I ha can help them see the unseen, know the unknown. Whatever it is that you are able to do, able to offer, embrace all that you are by seeing what your gift is, understanding it, experiencing it. Don't try to just say, oh, okay, that's my gift. That's fine. See where it can take you. See how it is that it can help you fully understand all that you are and for you to choose the very best in you and to move into this. The more you're able to move into all the best in you and for you to stand on, in that energy, stand in the energy of you being at your very best, your highest frequency, your highest vibration, that flows forward. It's felt by the people around you. It transforms the people around you. You don't need to try to change them, try to make them see, try to make them understand try to heal them. It just naturally happens. And people can sense this. Even people who perhaps do not believe in energy, do not believe in spirituality, they sense it. They say, hey, I feel good when I'm around you. I feel inspired. I, they'll seek you out to spend time with you, to be around you. But you need to first embrace yourself. Embrace all that you are. Stand in all that you are. And when I say stand in all that you are is that many times we try when we realize that you have a spiritual gift, you try to help others and you lose your way in this. You lose yourself in this because your focus leaves from you being centered in you and you standing within you and you're running trying to help others by shifting your focus completely onto others. And that leads to an imbalance. The more that you can truly stand and then help changes everything. Then you do not feel that you're losing your power, that you're giving it all away, that you're losing your way, that you feel this confusion, that you don't know what's happening to you. You wake up feeling excited. You wake up feeling inspired. And you know how to use this to move forward.
You use it with the clarity that it gives you, the inspiration that it gives you, and you're excited about it. You're excited that, hey, it gives me an extra power. It gives me an extra insight. I have something truly unique to me. Embrace your uniqueness. See it. Understand it. And know that having a spiritual gift isn't just one thing. It has an incredible depth to it. It's made up of energy, and energy has infinite energy that's flowing in it. It's endless, and it's constantly evolving. Spiritual gifts are not unique to people who are spiritual, who believe in spirituality, who are religious, or who have uh, a knowledge of how energy works. Many, many people who have no belief uh, in these things, who have no knowledge of how energy works, are truly gifted, are truly inspired. So it doesn't have to be that you've worked at it. It's a gift. And that's why it's called a gift. It's been given to you. You have it. It's an innate part of who you are. And the more you're able to see this and understand it and know it and explore it, because it has this infinite energy to it that you can truly explore, see where it takes you. It can take you to the most amazing experiences of your life, to the most amazing places, both within you and around you. Perhaps you have someone who was aware of your spiritual gift and it frightened them. And they said, oh my gosh, how can you do that? And they moved out of your life. They didn't truly move out of your life because they were afraid of who you are. Your frequency, the vibration of who you are, pushes many people away. People who are not at that frequency, not at that vibration, or who choose not to be around such a frequency, such a vibration. They may need to take another path where they find their way, they find their inspiration through a different type of energy, through a different type of experience. And you need to be able to allow this to happen. Allow who chooses to be around you to be around you, who chooses to move out of your life to move out of your life. And yes, this can sometimes be painful because we see it with our human eyes and we say, why do they not accept me for who I am, for all that I am? But allow for this to happen. People will choose to be around you. People will love you for all that you are. And these are the people who you truly want to be around you. Those who not only accept you, but who love being around you, who truly are grateful for who you are, who see the uniqueness of you, the wonder of you. I haven't asked you to subscribe yet, but I truly would love you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button because it helps me get my message across to so, so many people. And I'm grateful for this. One more thing that I've noticed is when you go into discovering your spiritual gift, perhaps many things start going wrong in your life. And you say, oh, things are going wrong. I need to let this go. But the thing is that they're not truly going wrong. They're happening so that you can see how you can use your gift to navigate through perhaps more difficult waters. And this will give you the chance to move into your true power, to see that nothing from your external world can truly set you off course unless you allow it to, can truly allow you to forget who you are, to let go of who you are, because you will choose to be you. You will choose you through all of this. And if you choose not to be you and you allow the external to throw you into the storm, at some point you will stand and say, no, I am a shining light. I am a star. I'm going to shine my light forward. And when you move into that energy within you and that shines in all directions, then you will no longer be affected so much by your external environment. It will be you 
and your gift shining forward and bringing that light, the beauty from within you, moving it forward, shining it for all to see, for all to know, for all to experience. Thank you so, so much for listening to me. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also remember to like.